Wilson. That could be the old Leo Barry job. <laughs> Thompson, what an important time to stick the Dukes up and take that mark. He kicks long. Day can take the mark. Eagles supporters tense. He can hear the fingernails being chewed away. Aaron Day from half back. He's got Luke Jarrett in short. He's going to kick it down the line. They're all tired. This will be a crucial play. And O'Hara takes the mark. He's kicked the goal in this final term, has Bray O'Hara. Centers up for Spur. Spur in a dangerous position. Forward of the play. He's just going to have to belt it. He decides not to. He goes to Williams. Williams belts it forward. They need a mark. Grigg has been good this afternoon. At the front it comes. It's on the ground. Lots of numbers over the ball. And the umpire calls for a 25 metres out, straight in front of the Central's goal. Four points, the margin. Michael Godden and Roy Laird, you'd think Michael Godden in head and hands. There's nothing he can do now. They've opened up forward of the play, the Doggies. That's the one they'll want. The ball comes straight down until it goes through and dares the umpire to call holding the ball. And he does it. This is where you need to be disciplined in your tackling making sure you don't give away a cheap free kick around the neck. A couple of Hail Marys, I think, there from that <laughs> lady. Doggies again open up forward of the play. Oh, Spur out of the pack. Minor score. The ball is in the hands of the Eagles. They have a three-point lead, and we've crossed over into 28 minutes in the final turn. I think what uh, Mick Godden was saying there, yeah, no second, third jumpers there. They allowed it too many times. Simon! The Eagles have pulled it off by three points. They've beaten the Bulldogs in the 2011 Grand Final. Mark McKenzie, he had the football when they won in 06 at the final siren. And the Eagles players embrace Mick Godden, his second year as coach of the Eagles. And they win by three points. Lee Spur had an opportunity. The Bulldogs players are down and out. But the Eagles have come from a qualifying final to win the 2011 Premiership. Brenton Phillips. Who would have thought uh, when we watched the Eagles play Norwood back a couple of weeks ago here, they put in a very soft and insipid effort. But boy, that was anything but this grand final. They come to tackle, they come to play, and they come really strong with a strong discipline and a strong focus on what they wanted to do. Now, let's give credit to the uh, Central Districts Football Club. They refused to give it away, even to the point where they were at it to the last second. They wanted to win and then the, the kick on, I think it was Spur, the last one shot on goal, just couldn't quite get that kick away for the, for the six points. But this is one of the best grand finals I've witnessed for a long, long time. We go down to Mark Soderstrom. He's very, very happy, I'm sure. Justin Sicilella, he held up the cup last time, Soders. He won't do it this time, but he'll be one of them that will. Justin, five years ago you've done it and you've come back again. That is amazing. Oh, it's unbelievable. I've uh, felt it once before and this is just absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. We've got the most we've got the most resilient bunch of blokes going around. We've really found something with the footy club and I'm, I'm just wrapped. I'm like an old man at the moment. You weren't watching that clock in the last bit, were you? Oh, I just was begging that the ball wouldn't get go through. Sperry absolutely carved me up in the last few minutes, so... Central's an absolute super side, and you don't take nothing for them without without a war. So we're uh, we're really pumped. Well done, Justin Sigler, two-time premiership play. Well done. Thanks very much, guys. Justin Sigler, you might have seen the guy in sunglasses and the hat that went past and said Sicker. I think that might have been Bernie Vince, who spent some time with the Eagles this season. And there he is, Michael Godden, going over to congratulate his players. And one of his favourites, I'm sure, a man he plucked from relative obscurity down at the bay and brought him across. In fact, they both started their journey at West Adelaide in, uh, in uh, Scott Lewis. And then it was uh, Luke Jarrett who he embraced. And he would be a happy man. And as soon as we get the opportunity, we'll go down to Chris Kendall and he'll get an opportunity to talk to him. Now, our premiership coach, Chris. And one of the happiest men at Football Park today. Michael Godden, your heart must have been in that mouth that last five minutes. Yeah, that was pretty tough that last few minutes. I mean, 
the pressure's enormous and the boys stood up and it was you know, it was just a great game of uh, SAV footy, wasn't it? And look, you're right, the boys did stand up. It wasn't just the older players that stood up. All of your kids put in some fantastic efforts. You had some fantastic individual efforts. But when the Bulldogs really came at you hard and we knew they wouldn't that fourth term, geez, you held strong. Yeah, we did. And, you know, you, you set them up all year to be resilient. You do it at training and you do it every moment. You just hope that you've done enough for when that moment happens. Another step in your coaching journey too, Michael. Of course, yeah. you're at the Glenelg Reserves. Now you come here to your, your league football career, second year of coaching. How does it feel? Oh, mate, this is the best feeling I've ever had in my life. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, the great grand finals are great, but to win it that way was just, you know, against such a great team. Just uh, really humbled by it, to be honest. I'm just proud to be the leader of this club. And you've got 21 blokes who want to celebrate with you. Go over and enjoy it. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers. Sticks is a feeling that you know well. Certainly. On the right of screen, that's for sure. <laughs> Certainly is. You know, you're very proud of your boys when you get to a situation like that. You know, they're just so elated. The, the pressure valve's been released and uh, all the planning that you've done for the whole 12 months has actually just come to, to a head. And uh, the, the, the picture there tells a story. Roy Laird just sits and ponders while the other box just erupts. Yeah. And absolutely... To the ground again. And Chris Kendall with uh, a very happy Luke Powell. And look, one of the best players on the ground all day, Luke. You were there in 2006, but what does this mean to you to come with such a young group? A lot of the kids, again, you were just fantastic all day and yourself, great. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm sort of lost for words. I don't know what do you say. That's a fantastic group, of, you know, from day one, from pre-season. God, he put us in good stead to get here. You know, we, the disappointment from last year really drove us. And, yeah, I mean, we did it the hard way, but thank goodness. <laughs> Talk us through that last couple of minutes, because a lot of us don't get to experience that. What is it like here? You see the Bulldogs, and we know what they're like in these pressure situations coming at you. What sort of goes through your mind at those times? Oh, look, it's tough. I mean, you've just got to get your hands on the footy. And if you can if you can control the ball, you know, you can, you can control the game. But unfortunately, a few times, we just let them loose. And that's, what, that's why centrals are so good, because they just keep coming at you and at you and at you. So, it's, I mean, it's... Yeah, to hold on, it's fantastic. <laughs> How does this compare to 2006? I mean, you came in, you lost the qualifying final. No team has done that since 76 and won the flag. How did you find recovering from that game and turning it all around? Yeah, look, we knew from that game that we didn't turn up, and that was simple as that. We knew we had the game plan, and, I mean, history's made to be broken, and I'm glad we'd done it. But from 06, look, it's, we were in a similar situation. We lost one and then come back to win it. But this is a great character as a group. They never give up, and we knew we could do it. And it was just a matter of putting it into place. Yeah, and you have done it too. Go and soak it up, Luke. Well done.